Hey, I got a quick question for you, Tom. What's going on? Um, sorry, how many hundreds of thousands of subscribers do you have? Could you just like go ahead and just, uh, just, you know, tell me how many? <laughs> how, how exactly you many? You realize I'm gonna hit 300, and then I can just do this right back at you, right? Yeah, I'd say I'm closer to three, but... Oh, we're not rounding. I mean, I'm just saying if we aren't rounding, you're closer to one than I am to three. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Checkmate, fucker. <laughs> so I just hit 200k on my YouTube channel, and so I just had to give Tom a call to let him know. We have this weird relationship where we have to always uh, talk shit to each other about success. I actually don't really care about numbers. I mean, I'm super happy to have 200k, but like, I'm not going to think less of other people with different numbers, unless it's Tom. Hey, Curtis. Hey, Andrew. How's it going? Pretty great. Uh, what are we doing today? We're going to go to the thrift store and see what we can find, and I'm going to start filming too. <laughs> Thank you. Me and Curtis both got pumpkin spice lattes. I've never gotten one before. Is it gonna be too hot to drink right now? Uh, you gotta just go for this go. Okay. <laughs> that's good. I love pumpkin pie. So that's, that's some good stuff. <laughs> we went into 7-Eleven to ask if they knew where the Salvation Army was, the thrift store that we're trying to go to. What do they tell us, Curtis? It's demolished. It's been demolished. Not only is it closed, not only is it not here, yes. they crushed it. Hi, um, is this the uh, Salvation Army? Yes, it is. You're, you're open today, right? Yes, we are. You're not demolished or anything? Army? We're just coming to, like, um, buy clothes and stuff, so I just... Oh, no, this is not the right thing. We don't have that here. None of the Salvation Armies that we called sell clothes. Apparently, it's just a stupid... Charity just helps people. Whatever that means. Uh, trying to film a YouTube video here. Yeah. Trying to make content. Stop being so selfish. Jeez. We found some other thrift store that's like 20 minutes away. We're gonna see if we can go there and get full outfits. We can do it. I think so. I think so. I believe that. Good. That's what we need. We just got here. It's it's pretty cool. I've never been to a thrift store, but I have been to a Winners, and this is kind of similar, only much cheaper. So let's see what we can find. Ooh, what are you wearing? Uh, oh no. Did I get it? Um, yeah, if you want to hunt vampires. <laughs> can you give me a dramatic turnaround? Ooh, put a fedora on and oh, oh, you'll just kill it. <laughs> Yo, Curtis is wearing such dumb yeah. sunglasses. <laughs> Looks so stupid. This guy does not know fashion at all. I never really thought of myself as much of like a, a hat guy, but I'm kind of sold on this. I don't know. What do you think, Curtis? Uh, yes, absolutely. That's what I needed to hear. <laughs> uh, yeah, person sold. So stuff that we bought. Curtis got a champion shirt. Yo, cause I'm a champion. This is a champion. Sorry for flexing on y'all, but that's what I do, you know. And I got nothing. Nothing. Because I didn't find anything that I liked. I mean, I, I found a turtleneck, but Curtis, he advised me not to get it. Curtis has been filming this whole thing as well. And we're about to part ways. So you should check out the video on Curtis' channel. It'll be in the description below. And just go say you came from my video. Yeah, and I'll say hi to you. Ah. So, uh, just said goodbye, Curtis. And uh, now I'm waiting to get picked up. But in the meanwhile, I wanted to talk about something for a second. There's something that I don't think enough people talk about. And I feel like it happens to everybody at some point. All of my friends that I've talked to have had it happen at least once or twice. The thing that I'm referring to right now is pregnancy scares. I know it's like a super weird thing to bring up, but you know, it happens. And I had my first one in high school and I had no idea what I was doing. I remember it was with my first girlfriend. We had been dating for like six months. We were very new to sex in general and we had just started having it and always always wore condoms always tried to be as safe as possible I just remember she came to me one day in the halls of our high school and looked super worried and I was like what's up and she told me that she hadn't had her period yet and it had been like over a week or two from when she was supposed to get it my first instinct was to like try and keep her cool and tell her not to freak out and say everything's gonna be okay, like you're definitely not pregnant. But this is the first time anybody told me they thought they could be pregnant. I didn't even know for sure. I thought, I don't know, maybe, 
something went wrong with the condom or something, or God, it could have been anything. I just remember being so, so freaked out. What we think it ended up being was, this was right around the time of finals, so between that and, you know, being maybe a few days late and letting that stress just all build up, but it's a, it's a terrifying thing to go through. I mean, in an instant, I thought like, what would I do if I was a dad? And you know, I don't want to be a dad anytime soon. So that would have changed my life. That would have ruined my life in my opinion. Not to say that kids ruin lives, but you know, if you're not ready for them or if you don't want them, then yeah, I think they do. I don't know, I thought that was at least an interesting thing to talk about. I've never seen a video of somebody talking about like, thinking they got pregnant. And since that time, it's happened with probably like every girlfriend I've ever had. Only now I know better how to address the situation. Uh, and more so like what the factors could be, but the first time I wasn't even sure if stress could be a cause. Anyways, my ride's here. I'm with my buddy Chris. Hey, hey! And we are on our way right now to Kensington Market. It's uh, this place in downtown Toronto that's like really cool, got all these like little indie shops and stuff. I want to go to a grilled cheese spot that I've heard about for a really long time and never gone. Just a place that specializes in grilled cheese. Sounds amazing. So that's where we're off to. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's so packed here, look it's at this. Great. I don't know what is going on, but we're gonna check it out. We just got our grilled cheese, check this out. Oh my god. So much stuff, I think this is what Chris got. Oh, it's so good. We're about to mow down some grilled cheese. That's good, that's super good. So. We're just leaving our uh, grilled cheese spot. How did you like it, Chris? Oh, that was so good. It hit the it spot. It has reinvented what a grilled cheese means. Okay, so 425 for those empanadas? Yeah. Yeah, but those are four bucks. These are four bucks. So, what yeah. do I look like, a billionaire? Let's go with the $4 one. Yeah, you gotta be competitive in this it's market. It's a competitive market. Now we got these things, empanadas. I'm not even sure what it is, but the guy said there's a habanero pepper in the like one fruits. that we got. And so we agreed to both get the hottest one. We're gonna die a little. We're gonna see. I feel like it can't be that hot. Like, I know habaneros are super hot, but I feel like, because it's cooked into a thing, it's not gonna I think, be I bad. think we'll be okay. You ready? All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh. It tastes like a little bit of it, but it's not hot. Well, that's crazy. We may have spoke too soon. Okay, I lied. It's like a, it's like a nine now. Chris is starting to burn. Oh, <laughs> we should have gotten drinks, dude. For the last half hour, we uh, were thinking, what could we do? That's fun in Toronto. And so there are a few different ideas we had. There's like ax throwing. Uh, we're gonna do laser quest, like a, a laser tag. We're gonna try mini putt. A lot of stuff's closed, a lot of stuff's far away. And it's Sunday. We ended up settling on archery tag, which is not something I've ever done. So we just picked up our buddy Daniel. What's up? Yeah, what's going on? He's gonna come with us to play archery tag. Yeah. It's gonna be sick. I'm so excited. I've never been. I don't know what None to of us expect. have, yeah. yeah. None of us have. So, this is gonna be a very new experience. Yeah. But uh, I hope that we're on a team because otherwise you guys are gonna eat shit. I'll eat it all. Have you even like done That's archery? That's not shit talk right there. I will <laughs> eat so much shit. So I didn't say this earlier, but uh, Daniel over here is also a YouTuber. And what are you known for, Daniel? I am known for my uh, my Disney medleys and Disney comics. For your Disney medleys? Yeah. Sing us a Disney tune. What do you want to hear, Andrew? I want to hear Mulan make a man out of you. The best oh, Disney song. Okay, uh, I can do that. Let's go. Let's get down to business. Stand up. To Be dramatic. The Huns. <laughs> Did they send me daughters? When I asked for sons. This is the that's only reason I hang out with him. We found our friend Sam. You failed me. You ready to play some archery tag? Yes. If we can find the place. Yeah. You guys are gonna get shot up. You're gonna get you're challenge gonna accepted. Up. That's not a challenge, you're just gonna get shot oh. up. Yeah, just playing tag. archery tag. It's like dodgeball and like laser tag mixed together. It's pretty freaking right? fun though. It is. It's I got hit in the dick a lot though. Same. Like, like people in were that targeting. last round there. Yeah. She got me real like one of the employees has bad. a bow and it literally says Nutcracker on it. Yeah, so. and it was like a legit. Nutcracker. She was a sniper. She was. She was cracking nuts. Oh, uh, bad. Everyone was all messed up. Yeah, because it was good. 
I better have fire bows. I'm fine though. Learning. It was a learning process. I didn't have to learn anything. So it's like 1 a.m. I'm probably just gonna go to bed right now. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It's like such a cool thing to do. Wow. This is the first one on the new camera. I'm digging it so much. It's such an improvement over holding a DSLR. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to make more of these. I'll see you in probably less than a week. And uh, have a fantastic day or night. Subscribe to me if you enjoyed this and you want to see more stuff like this. And uh, see you next time. Peace.